Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I've made this card. Well, I never made it today, but you know what I'm doing. I'm making this card. Um, I used the dies from Blossoming, Blossoming Blooms. Is that the right word? Page 50. It is. Blossoms in bloom. And the dyes are called. I ain't a clue. Many layered blossoms dyes. So, yes, I'm using them. I've already cut them out. And I've actually cut them out in a different colour. This is Rococo Rose and a white. And I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up, folded, and burnished in, and burnished here. Yeah. Right. When I used this lot before, I was making another card, and I um, used this layer, not this one, but one like it, to colour in. And I used the brush, didn't I? And with the ink. And when I lifted it off, it left a nice pattern. And I couldn't make my mind up what to do with that card. Well, this is what I did with it. Isn't that really pretty? What I did, I cut, put it on a base of Highland Heather. And I cut... Oh, no, never. No. Yeah, Highland Heather. And I cut out the white layer, I cut that out in Highland Heather and stuck it over the top, added a butterfly and there you have it. I think that's quite pretty. So you don't really need to cut out both, you don't really need to cut out this one. Just cut out once, keep it and then brush over it. They are hard to cut out. On my big shot, my big shot's not cutting out down the middle. So when I, I'll show you on this one, I put this down and it was only cutting out like this and this. It wasn't cutting out the middle. And it was a devil. So what I had to do is keep turning it round, turned it, went it through, turned it, had like one edge right to the edge of my big shot. And then I turned it over and put a thick piece of card on top, put the glass plate on, put a thick bit of card on top, skimmed it, and run it through a couple of times, and that's how it got. I got it cut out in the middle. So yeah, I need to get my big shot looked at. I know someone who will, I think the bearings have gone on it. And I know someone who might look at it for me, so I shall get that done. As soon as I see the young lady I know. So, there is no layering card for this. Um, I'm just going to stick this straight on here. So what we need to do is stick this to this. So, in fact we're better off if I use my silicon mat put that on there push it down and then I can go all over the mat I don't care because it washes off it just won't be on my fingers If you've got the um, cutting sheets, 
that are sticky on both sides and you can die cut through it stick your card on it and then use your dies to cut through that and your um, card you won't need to do this I have got actually got a big roll of it but I forget because it's not where I can see it it's in the cupboard mind you I don't think it'll be very good at the moment with my big shot not working properly Miles from choking on his cup of tea. Bless him. Right, that's the spin all round, I think. Can't remember where I started. Card there and there. Right, that I think should do. Yeah. Get that out of the way. Right, we got this the right way, yeah. And then we line it up. And stick it on. She said she wouldn't get glue on her fingers, huh? No chance. going on here. We have that on. All right, all we need now is our card base and figure out what way we want to put this on. I think it was like that I did. But before we put this on, we need to stamp um, our sentiment. Now, I have chosen 
wishing you an amazing birthday from Humming Along retired stamp set this one and with Rococo Rose ink I am going to stamp right there if you mess this bit up it doesn't matter you can always put a well, that's nice. You can always put a um, over it, a label over it. So don't be afraid to stamp on a blank card. Right, I'm going to glue half of this. Also forget about the long bits as well. We don't want them peeling off. And I think that's about halfway. And we're going to pop that down there. And then, with our scissors, we're going to cut off in line with the card. The bit that's not sticking down. You could leave it just like that, because that's quite pretty. But I'm not going to waste this bit. I'm going to stick this on the top. Like that. So, let's pop some glue on this half. Place it on our card like that, and then we just trim off the flower that's left over. bits of card go flying everywhere. Making sure it's all stuck down. Get rid of the rubbish. Now on this one I did put some dots, but I'm not going to put them on this one because I wished I hadn't done it. Right, that needs sticking. This is where you'll see where if you've stuck it down or not. Anything you might have missed. Here is a bit missing. Actually, that needs trimming off. That's it. 
Yeah. All we've got to do is add some gems. And they're a bit big to add. getting them gems out never use them um, there so I'm going to put one this side and two this side Stay down. There we go. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified if YouTube is working of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.